A crash and a controversy. The local four defenders investigate an alleged party and a drunk driving crash involving a Detroit fire engine. Glad you're with us for Local 4 News at 6. The accident in question happening right outside a Detroit home where the Detroit Fire Department was responding to help someone who had fallen ill. And there are questions about a gathering at one of the firehouses shortly before the crash. Local 4 defender Sean Lay joins us live with what the fire department is confirming and what happens now. Sean. Absolutely, guys, and here is the setup. The woman inside, 46 years old, very sick Sunday night. Her family very concerned. They called 911. Detroit Fire got right here first before an ambulance. And the woman who owns this car, listen to her. She's going to tell us exactly what happened next. Next thing you know, we're here. Something that was just like, hit, stop, boom, like, ah. Oh. What car is it? And they like, oh my God, it's, it's your car. Tanisha. Tanisha Hawkins' car is smashed up in the same spot it was Sunday night when a Detroit fire engine hit it. Her sister sick inside the home. As soon as Detroit Fire Squad 6 arrived, the 26-year-old firefighter behind the wheel of the half-million-dollar heavy rescue engine hit her car. Tonight, the fire department is confirming to us that firefighter was drunk behind the wheel. Responding to your emergency. Wow. Okay, what do they do after this? That's what we're interested in finding out. Detroit Fire now investigating what they're calling a dinner, but what sources are calling a big party here at Engine 50 on the east side. Sources say there was drinking, allegedly lots of drinking, and members of Squad 6 were on duty and drove the fire engine to the party, putting themselves more than two miles away from Trenisha's home when they should have been just around the corner. At least one member of that crew, the driver, was impaired, responding to a medical emergency. We've been involved in an accident at our location. Could you please send please? Dangerous situation, dangerous. Yes. Yes, it was. A supervisor took the firefighter for a drug and alcohol test. One source says the result was a .108 blood alcohol content. Other sources say it was higher. Either way, that firefighter was not arrested. He wasn't arrested. No, it's unthinkable that not only was it not arrested, my understanding was that it wasn't even reported to the police immediately. It was something that was reported after the fact. Attorney Steve Haney has a history of dealing with the Detroit Fire Department suing them when firefighters took this photo while a home behind them burned. This is a problem. There's no question the judgment is poor, but what's being done about it? You know, where's the ownership? Where's the accountability from the superiors? Our rules expressly forbid it and we're outraged. Detroit Fire Commissioner Eric Jones says the firefighter has been suspended. The case turned over to Detroit police where an arrest could be made. Jones wants to know who was at the party, who was drinking, including department supervisors. We know that one firefighter consumed alcohol. We have proof of that. Uh, in order to make further determinations, we're going to have to complete the investigation and follow the facts where they lead us. Like all first responders, we're outraged that someone would consume alcohol and drive an emergency response vehicle. There is a lot more to this. We're also learning tonight that one, at least one senior chief is being questioned as part of the investigation for allegedly being at the party. The chief is being asked how much alcohol the chief may have allegedly consumed. We just now hearing from the firefighters union on this, getting us this statement just now saying they believe this is an isolated incident and pandemic and stress related. They want to work with their members to make sure it certainly never happens again. Guys, back to you. So, Sean, what happened to to the rest of the firefighters who were on that fire engine, do we know? There's about three more firefighters on the engine and they were left in service. We asked the commissioner why leave them in service, assuming if they were at a celebration or a party, why just assume that the driver was mm -hmm. drinking? What about those guys? Right. They were not taken out of service. We do not know how many runs they were on after that. We do not know if they were drinking or not. Yeah. We know you'll stay on top of the story, though, Sean. We appreciate it.